Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make crystal ice. So crystal ice is very large cubes that are completely clear. And here's a couple of examples. Make uh, these huge cubes for putting in your drink. They melt very slowly because they're not full of air, not full of impurities. So what we do is we start out, this is a small Coleman cooler. You can get these on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below. First thing to do is take the lid off. And it just kind of comes, and just turn it sideways a little bit, and it comes right out. So then you have the cooler. Uh, later we'll need a serrated edge bread knife. This is a Victorinox Fibrix. I'll put the link, uh, put a link to the uh, knife in the description below, as well as a clean kitchen towel. So first thing to do is we're going to fill up, put just regular tap water in this uh, in this cooler. You want to fill the cooler up until it's about an inch or so from the from the top of the cooler. And into the freezer it goes. It's been about 22 hours. It depends on how low your refrigerator is set. Uh, so your mileage may vary. And we'll uh, take it out and make some uh, ice cubes. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is frozen. You can see kind of down in here. Uh, it looks like it's frozen about three quarters of the way down. We're going to tip this over in the sink and we'll just wait for it to loosen up. It'll start thawing. The reason that this works, the cooler keeps the ice from forming on the sides and the bottom and it only forms from the top and as it forms from the top it freezes and it pushes all of the impurities and the dissolved air down towards the bottom. When, we're, when the ice comes out, we'll trim it up with a serrated edge knife and we'll throw that, all the impurities and the dissolved air ice out, leaving us with a nice block of fresh crystal ice that we can then cut into cubes. Okay. So here's our block of ice. If you look at it real closely, you can see there's still liquid water in there. There's some ice on the bottom, but for the most part, it's been frozen. You can see as I tip it up on its side, some of the water starting to leak out. You can see the big void in there. It's very cold. So that's what we're gonna use this clean kitchen towel for. And I'm gonna start with this serrated edge knife. I'm gonna start trimming Break all the big hunks of this. We have it's a nice, fairly even piece of crystal ice. So we'll start in the middle and we'll hold it with the clean kitchen towel and we'll just kind of start sawing with a moderate amount of pressure and as you start sawing you can kind of see, and it may be tough to see on the video, that there's a little fracture line starting to move down the block of ice. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure. And then it'll snap on the line. Let's see this.
Now here's a good example of one that didn't quite fracture on the edge, so you can just take the, oh that's cold, you can take the knife and shave it up if it, and even though it looked fuzzy for a little bit, now it's uh, starting to melt a little and looks completely clear. So that's how you make crystal ice. Uh, give it a try and see what works best for you. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.